Before the advent of modern technology and telescopes, humans could only envision the appearance of the other planets in the solar system. However, advancements in technology and increased interest in space science have enabled us to obtain clear and astounding images of every planet in the solar system. In today's video, we will be showcasing the most impressive pictures of each member of the solar system, some of which have even shocked scientists. So without further ado, let us begin today's video. You are watching Futuristic YouTube channel to subscribe the channel. Mercury So, we'll start with the first and smallest planet of our solar system, Mercury. Despite numerous vehicles being sent to explore Mercury, the first vehicle to orbit the planet was the Messenger spacecraft. This spacecraft transmitted numerous images of Mercury, many of which featured craters. The image you see here, taken by the Messenger spacecraft, is of a crater named Van Eyck with a diameter of 270 kilometers. In addition to this, the messenger also captured an image of the massive Calorus Basin crater with a diameter of 1525 kilometers and surrounded by hills that reach up to two kilometers in height. By 2015, the messenger spacecraft had acquired around 200,000 images of the planet Mercury, having orbited it since March 2011. As its fuel began to run low, the spacecraft ultimately collided with Mercury in 2015. However, it managed to capture its final images before impact, which remain to this day the closest and most detailed images of Mercury ever taken by humans. Venus After Mercury comes the hottest planet of our solar system, Venus. It is the closest planet to Earth and its atmosphere is composed of carbon dioxide, sulfur oxide, and nitrogen gas. Due to the presence of greenhouse gases in its atmosphere, Venus maintains a consistently high temperature. The first spacecraft to capture proper images of Venus was the Soviet Union's Venera 13 lander, which was launched on March 1, 1982. This was the first mission that provided scientists with colored images of Venus. Despite numerous previous failed attempts, the Venera 13 managed to transmit images for approximately two hours before being destroyed. In 1990, NASA launched the Magellan mission, which aimed to take photographs of the entire planet and create a map of its surface. The mission captured images of Venus' surface, revealing evidence of volcanoes, tectonic plate movement, and strong winds. Additionally, it captured images of lava channels, which resemble rivers on Earth in their appearance and length, with one channel measuring approximately 7,700 kilometers. Earth. Next in the solar system is our Earth, which is unique in that it is the only known planet to support life. While there are numerous images of Earth, some are particularly noteworthy. One such image displayed on your screen was taken by NASA's moderate resolution imaging spectra radiometer and clearly shows North America and the moon in the background. Another noteworthy image of Earth was captured by the Messenger spacecraft from the planet Mercury shortly before its collision. This image includes the Earth and the Moon in the frame. On December 14, 2020, NASA also captured a video of a total solar eclipse as seen from space showing the shadow moving across the Earth. Mars Since the concept of colonizing other planets emerged, Mars has been a highly intriguing subject of study for researchers. Scientists have been conducting extensive research on the planet in recent years. In 1979, the Viking 1 orbiter was sent to Mars, capturing a clear image of the planet, including the region known as Vals Marineris. Subsequently, the Viking 2 orbiter was launched, which captured images of Mars' south pole and the ice cap present there. In 2013, the European Space Agency obtained a number of high-resolution images of an area known as Herb's Cosma, located in the northern region of Vals Marineris. The video you are currently viewing on your screen is a composite of various photographs, providing a high-resolution view of Vals Marineris. Jupiter The largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, has also been the subject of much study and observation. On July 10, 2017, the Juno spacecraft captured an image of the planet's famous Great Red Spot from an altitude of approximately 9,012 kilometers, providing the closest view of the storm to date. The Juno spacecraft subsequently captured another image of the Red Spot from a slightly greater distance. 
If you were to approach Jupiter, you would likely see a similar sight. While many unique images of Jupiter have been captured, one of the most intriguing is the photograph of its poles. Scientists had never before had the opportunity to observe Jupiter's poles in this manner, as they are not visible from Earth. Additionally, scientists were surprised to discover a strange pattern on Jupiter's North Pole through the photographs, revealing eight distinct storms all rotating around a central point. Such patterns in the universe are incredibly rare, making the photograph all the more extraordinary. It resembles a depiction of a fictitious planet from science fiction, but it is in fact real. On November 19, 2018, the Juno spacecraft captured another striking image of Jupiter. The photograph provides an intimate view of the planet's clouds, and upon viewing it, one might consider Jupiter to be the most dangerous planet in our solar system. Saturn After the largest planet of the solar system, Jupiter, it is the turn of the most beautiful planet of the solar system, Saturn. The rings around it make it more visually striking. The best images of Saturn were taken by the cassini huygens spacecraft. On October 21, 2002, the spacecraft captured an image of Saturn from a distance of 285 million kilometers, offering a high-resolution view of the planet. On March 27, 2004, it again captured an image of Saturn, which provides a true color representation of the planet. This image is unedited, meaning that if one were to ever visit Saturn, it would appear as it does in the image. Additionally, cassini huygens captured an image of Saturn that appears completely black as the sun is positioned directly behind the planet. Many have likened the image to that of a black hole. This photograph could not be captured from Earth, and it was used by scientists to research the different compounds present in Saturn's atmosphere. In 2016, the spacecraft also captured an image of Saturn's North Pole, showcasing a hexagonal vortex storm. Scientists have been studying these storms for many years, but the origins of these storms remain unknown. Uranus Next, let's discuss Uranus, the seventh and second last planet in our solar system. Uranus is known for its axial tilt, which causes the planet to rotate at an oblique angle. There are not many images of Uranus, but Voyager 2 captured an image in 1999 using three different color filters to examine various parameters of the planet. In July 2004, the Keck telescope captured images of Uranus' surface, displaying its icy atmosphere. An image taken during this time also shows the entire planet in one frame, with bright spots visible on its surface, which are actually auroras. In November 2011, the Hubble telescope also captured an image of Uranus, showing a blue planet with a clearly visible red ring around it. It is worth noting that Uranus also has rings, despite the common belief that only Saturn has rings. Additionally, in this photograph, the aurora of Uranus can also be seen. Neptune Now it is the turn of the last and eighth planet of our solar system, Neptune. To date, only one spacecraft, NASA's Voyager 2, has passed by this planet. The spacecraft captured an image of Neptune, which features a dark spot similar to the red spot on Jupiter, which is a storm. As Voyager 2 approached even closer to Neptune, it captured an image of the planet's clouds. A few years ago, the Hubble telescope also captured an image of the planet. This photograph was taken in December 2020 and provides a high-resolution view of Neptune, including its dark spot. Despite being so far from Earth, the European Southern Observatory was able to capture a clear image of Neptune. This image is considered to be the clearest image of the planet taken from Earth. Pluto Although the list of planets has come to an end, we must not forget an important member of our solar system, Pluto. Despite no longer being considered a planet, it remains a significant part of our solar system. The best image of Pluto was captured by the Long Range Reconnaissance Imager aboard the New Horizons spacecraft on July 13, 2015. The following day, three more images were taken, each in different resolutions, blue, red, and infrared. Another photograph of Pluto was taken, which also features its moon, Charon. This image clearly shows the relative size of the moon compared to Pluto. So these were the most exquisite images of the members of our solar system. Which one was your favorite? Don't forget to tell us in the comments. That's all for today's video. See you in the next one.
Till then, keep learning and keep watching.